Hello, I'm David from Blueware, and thank you for joining me in this Blueware Best Bond training tutorial video series. Today, we are going to go over Best Bond's Patient Admission Scanning Module. Patient Admission Scanning is a great way for the registration clerks to instantly add documents into either Best Bond or the Wellness Connection at the point of patient admissions. In this video, we are going to cover how to select documents to scan, scan or upload the documents into the system, edit, modify, and delete scanned documents, and finally, how to edit which documents can be scanned. It is important to note that this step comes after admitting the patient into your health information system. In other words, admit the patient into your healthcare system before scanning the documents in through Best Bonds Patient Admission Scanning. Okay, let's get started. When opening Best Bonds Patient Admission Scanning, all you have to do is double click on the shortcut that's on your workstation's desktop. After it's open, you will initially be presented with the login screen. The login credentials for Best Bonds Patient Admission Scanning matches your Best Bond and Wellness Connections login information. Since we're logging in as a general user, the first screen we will see is the Admission Scanning screen. This screen has only two sections. The top of the screen asks you for either the patient's patient ID number or the encounter number. You may type in one or the other or both. The system accepts any option. If the encounter number is not associated with the patient ID number, an error will occur, so there is limited chance for human error. For this video, we are just going to type in the patient ID number 1001. Also, it is important to note that although the video uses patient ID number, your facility may refer to that as a medical record number or some deviation of that. Your system should reflect the terminology your organization uses. The bottom section of the screen shows you the different documents that the system will allow you to scan in. This particular list shows three different types of insurance cards, a consent form, and a driver's license. This may be configured to your organization's needs, and we will get back to that later in this video. In this video, I'm going to scan in three documents, a driver's license, a consent form, and an insurance card. Once I've selected my documents, I'm going to click Scan. After clicking Scan, a prompt will appear to ask you to select the scanner if there are more than one scanners connected to your workstation. This will open every time you start a new batch. Make sure to select the appropriate scanner and click the select button. The scanning process will now begin with a series of prompts asking you to either insert the document into the scanner and scan it in by clicking the scan button, or you may choose to upload a document if the document is already saved on your workstation. In this case, we are going to scan in our first document, which is the insurance card. It is important to note the little checkbox that asks us to scan with options. This time, I am going to scan with options. So I'm going to check the box, and when I click the scan button, the scanner's driver will open up. From the driver screen, I can choose my default settings that I will always want to scan with, including DPI, black and white verse color, document size, etc. Your facility may have different requirements for the quality of the scan, so please make sure you have the correct settings. At this point, I'm going to put the insurance card into the scanner feeder and click the scan button. Once that is complete, I will repeat the process for the next two documents, only this time I will not choose the scan with option selection and just scan them all through with the previous selected settings. Once you have scanned in all of your documents, you will be directed to the preview screen in which you will see the thumbnails of the documents you've scanned in. At the top of the screen, you will see the patient demographic details of the documents you're scanning in. If you did not select an encounter on the initial screen, you may select the appropriate encounter number now should you have it available. This step, however, is not required. 
The bottom of the screen shows you thumbnails of the documents you've scanned in. You have a couple options at this point. You may rotate the documents so that they display in Best Bond or the Wellness Connection in the appropriate manner, and you may also click the arrow buttons if the document you've scanned in is a multi-page document to quality assure all of the pages. If for whatever reason you are unsatisfied with your scan, you may click the rescan button and the scanner prompt will appear. If you wanted to delete that document from the batch entirely, the delete button will do that for you. If you are missing a document that you forgot to select, scrolling to the bottom of the screen will show you a green plus button that will allow you to add additional scans or uploads to the batch. If you are unsatisfied with the whole batch and you just want to start over, the cancel button will take you back to the initial screen. If you are satisfied with your batch, clicking the submit button will direct the documents to the system in the correct folders and tabs. You will then see a progress bar that allows you to see the status of your upload. Once it is complete, a notification of the submission status will appear showing you which documents either succeeded or failed during the upload process. As you can see, all of our documents passed the test and made it into either Best Bond or the Wellness Connection. If a scan failed, you may select a document and rescan it at this point to attempt to re-upload it. If they all succeeded, Clicking the Finish button will finalize the process. Once you've finished, you are sent back to the main admission scanning screen. That's all there is to it. When you are finished with Best Bonds Patient Admission Scanning Entirely, please make sure to log out using the blue X at the top right hand corner of the screen. Now we are going to take a little bit more time to go over how we can add more documents to choose from when importing documents into Best Bond or the Wellness Connection. Only authorized users are giving access to these screens. So if you are only going to be using the system to scan in admission documents, you may not be able to see the following screens and it would be appropriate to end the video now. If you are an administrator, or will be controlling which documents may be scanned or uploaded into the system, the rest of the video is for you. So let's go ahead and log in as an administrator. Once we've logged in, you will be presented with a home screen that will show you two different options. Either you may scan documents like the registration clerk, or you may configure the document types accepted by this system. We are going to click on Configuration at this point. In the next screen, you are presented with two boxes next to each other. The box on the left includes all possible document types accepted by Best Bond's Patient Admission Scanning and the box on the right presents only the ones available during the scan or the upload process. To either add or take away from the document types available during the scan process, it is simply a matter of using the arrow buttons between the two boxes, selecting which one you want to add or remove. You may select one or many. If you don't see the document type you're looking for in the All Document Types box, please contact your Blueware administrator within your organization and we will work to get that set up for you. Once you are satisfied with the settings, clicking on the Save button will take you back to the home screen. That concludes the material of this video. Thank you so much for joining me in the tutorial video series. And as always, on behalf of everyone from Blueware, thank you for using Best Bond.